I used to love the nightlife and hang out in a bar. I used to hit the bottom, but then I hit a car. I'm laid up in a wheelchair, paralyzed for life. Got money through a settlement to see me through the strife. My attitude is different now, the future's not so bleak. I even got a mansion and thrown it for free. It's my life, such as it is. My life, such as it is. Such as it is. My seven friends are with me. They're brilliantly deformed. I got a girl called Franny, my shelter from the storm. Don't touch your points of pity. The hard times never last. Without a leg to stand on, I still manage to kick ass. It's my life, such as it is. My life, such as it is. Such as it is. Paralyzed. Paralyzed for life. Bored. You said that five minutes ago. Well, I was bored then, and I'm even more bored now. There's nothing on TV, and you guys are... boring. Maybe if you had some kind of cultural interest... Shut up! You're boring me! Damn, that clock's boring. Nothing interesting ever happens around here. <laughs> Grizz's bar? Great idea. Oh, this is much better. Hey, 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 don't wipe that up. You want me to start paying for drinks? I, I, I'm trying to get the place clean and being inspected by the health department. Do you even know the health regulations? I certainly do. Got them right here. Uh, you got nothing to worry about. Mmm, tangy. No offense, Grizz, but this place is a stinking cesspit. Yeah, great, isn't it? <laughs> but if I don't clean it up, the health department will close me down. The grime and the filth is the only thing holding this place together. Oh, next you'll be wanting flushing toilets. That reminds me, I need emptying. Where's Spalding? He's lying unconscious where we left him on the living room floor. Typical? Always thinking of himself? I'll have a beer, thanks, mate. A what? Can't a bloke have a cold one to celebrate the impending arrival of his... parents? <sighs> oh, great. I'm bursting over here. Beer? You hate beer. Beer drinking is a family tradition. I was just trying to get some practice so I could make my parents feel at home. Your parents are coming to visit all the way from Australia? Oh, you must be really excited to reconnect with the ones who suckled you. Oh, I never really got on with them. Why? Well, they never seem to have time for me. Dad was obsessed with his work, so I decided I wanted to become a physical therapist, just like him. <laughs> Hey, Dad! Look at me! Hey, Dad! <laughs> hey, you know the rules. No flashbacks over dinner. Sorry, Riley. I was never good enough for Dad. He's won awards for physical therapy. He must be really pissed that you're a screaming Nancy boy. Hole. I knew there was something I forgot to tell them. I like visiting the airport. The sound of the planes. 
all the visitors from far-off exotic lands? The ritual humiliation of Spalding. Why do I have to come along? It's important for Spalding, so his father can see what a great job he does caring for you. Ah! Hey! I've got two paraplegics in here! Two pair? You lose. We got a full house. Oh, we're gonna be light. Daddy's gonna kill me. Hurry up! I love these moving walkways. Takes a real load off your feet. Boy, oh, she's a nine. A nine. Whoa, excess baggage. Stop fooling around, you guys. The bookshop's got a sale on Thackeray. Do you have any keys? Loose change? No. A mobile phone? No. Do I look like a success? Don't worry. Your father will be happy just to see you. You don't know him. He's a big, scary man. Mum, Dad, it's great to see you. Don't just stand there. Help your mum with her hand luggage. Yes, Dad. Hello there. I'm Franny, and this is Riley, who your son looks after so well. Look at your posture! Ah, that's shocking! And you've got some sort of rash on your neck! Oh, God! I suppose I'm going to have to fix it! Isn't it great? He's so much more relaxed now he's on holiday. like a brownie. I prefer girl guides. They're better with knots. <clears throat> oh! <clears throat> Ooh, these are mighty fine. How sweet of you to bring us brownies all the way from Australia. I know. I baked them on the plane. Gola, it's a shortcut. Dad, I think I know a bit more about this city than someone who's only been here for ten minutes. Okay. If you want to get caught up in that bottleneck, that's just fine. Fine. I told you! Oh, lucky you knew this would happen. Uh, I'm just saying. Bend at your knees, son. <sighs> and don't slouch. I'll show you to your room. Haven't you forgotten something? I'll show you to your room, and please. It oh. must be time for Riley to have his bag changed. Why don't you show me how you do it? Huh. OK. I suppose if it's all right by you, Riley. Sure. Why not? Take some photos if you want. Stick it on the net. It's not like I got any pride left. <laughs> This house is a filthy, disgusting mess. I'm sorry. The guys aren't housebroken or toilet trained. Nah, it's fantastic. I was worried I wouldn't have anything to do on this holiday. Here's a tip, dear. Always get some before footage so you can enjoy the cleaning process for months to come. <laughs> and then I take the catheter and... No, no, no! It's completely the wrong angle. Ah, give me that. Look, you've got to be firm and fast. It's easier on the patient if you slide it in slowly. That just prolongs the discomfort. It's got to be quick. Slow. Quick. Forget it. The moment's gone. Did you meet Spaulding's dad? Sure did. The man's got one hell of a handshake. Oh, Grizz, you got everything sorted out? Sure have. And the bar meets all the health standards? Oh, that? Oh, no, 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 no. 
I was hoping you guys would give me a hand. Sure. Count me in. Sorry, I have to wash my hair. <laughs> if we don't help, this place will be closed down. All right, how hard can it be? Well... Um... I need a drink. Hope you're getting all this love. You've got to help me. I've been bathing him for years. So, it's about time we fixed up what you're doing wrong. Mum! Who, who's like a pikelet? You two need to talk. Our lips are flapping and sounds coming out. What do you call that? No, really talk. And not about work or me. I'm off. You two sort things out, okay? Okay. Uh, so... So? Have you read any, uh... uh no. Seen any... Nope. Uh, getting lots of sex? Oh, I suppose I should tell you. I have sex with... How's it going? Franny! You two are an item! Oh, yeah, baby, we're at it night and day, hammer and tongs. What? Oh, we're always playing Feed the Otter. <laughs> I don't think you mean otter. You're serious? Blood oath dead. Let's go, Franny. I've got a hankering for some spankering. <laughs> spankering? <laughs> Spalding? I'm not going to lie for you. I'll cry. I'll hold my breath until I turn pink. I'll shave Riley. Everywhere. Oh, all right. What do you want me to do? Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, do the thing. Oh. oh, yes. Oh, that's the way I like it. Mm. Oh, 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 touch me there. Touch me there. Yeah, take me, like a squirrel. A squirrel? Riley really likes it. Oh, it's a long story. Maybe we should finish now. But, but we've only been going for two minutes. Have we? Well, they're going to be suspicious. Two minutes is far too long. Oh, you poor, poor girl. You mean it can be longer? <gasps> oh! Weren't we doing something? Yeah, we was drinking. Hey, guys. This place is a pigsty. We're doing something about that. We're getting so drunk, <laughs> we don't care anymore. Goodbye, responsibility. <laughs> Yee. You even clean the glasses, Grizz? Nothing to clean them with. What about that dishwasher? Is that what that is? I hooked it up to a keg. I thought it was a novelty drinking device. Ah, damn refreshing. Hey, so Riley, how's the thing with, you know, that guy and the other guy? Spalding and his dad? Awful. Family problems. Ooh, they're like communicating. Pretty soon, people are going to be expressing their emotions. I hate that. Oh, Riley, you're such an insensitive swine. I love you, man. I love you, too. And I love you, Grizz. I'd do anything for a pal like you, man. Me too, man. And me, man. Great. So you're all going to help me clean up, then? Is that the time? I seem to remember there's a five-hour documentary on agrarian land reform in Finland during the Depression. Ooh, I got to see that. I love those aquariums. See you, Grizz. Oh, well. 
Looks like it's up to me. Well, shouldn't take too long. Well, 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 what do you mean, more than two minutes? Apparently, it's possible. Huh. I suppose I can always think back to what the nuns taught me at school. And what was that? I can't remember, but thinking about the nuns is sure going to stop me from jumping the gun. Clean as log, 20th of the 8th. Notice how the urine stains on the wall have completely gone. Now as we move into the um, second bedroom... But... Oh, Lord, love a duck! Aha! Come on, son. You can't stay here any longer with these people. But, Dad... Your father's right, dear. Your girlfriend's a slut. Spalding, you have to tell your parents the truth. Yes, it's true. Freddie's been having an affair with my boss. <laughs> the shame. The shame. <laughs> I knew it. Let's go. Why didn't you say anything? Shh. I'm still thinking about the nuns. One deluxe suite. Deluxe? Yeah, the cockroaches get changed daily. <laughs> and would you like breakfast? Oh, yeah. There's a pizza shop next door. Nice video camera. Are they hard to use? Nah, it's easy. See how I can zoom in on that dead rat? This is cosy. I don't mind bunking down camp style if you don't. What? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Anyway, it's time for bed. We can talk about finding you a new job in the morning. Rise and shine, Spalding. Time to get that new job. Oh, my God. I've had better. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, should have warmed up my hooks. Don't make a sound. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Come on, Fontaine. I got him. Hmm. Do you work out? Where are the raisins? It's got no raisins. It's got sultanas. They're completely different. Spalding knew that. Ugh. Oh. So you're missing Spalding, are you? Maybe. Come on, we're going. To buy raisins? No, you're going to get this mess sorted out. That's right. Whip it good. Oh. Oh. Lefty. Bring on the sheep. What are you doing out here? Just watching my life. See that broken potato crisp? That's my shattered hopes and dreams. Probably chicken flavored, just like you, Spalding. You're a coward. What choice have I got? You could face up to your parents and tell them the truth. The truth? That I failed as a physical therapist? That's rubbish. Is it? Riley's got something to say. Oh, yeah, uh, yes. Uh, I need you, Spalding. You're the best. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No kissing, no kissing. Let's go home. Aren't you forgetting something? Let's go home, please. What are you going to do about your parents? Not speak to them for the rest of my life. No. All right, I'll tell them. <laughs> Mum, Dad, I've got something to tell you. I'm... I'm... gay. I've always been gay, and I'm proud of it. I know it might be difficult to accept, but I'm still your son, and I still love you. And another thing... 
Why are you wearing a dress? I always wear dresses. All this fuss about you being gay. As if we didn't know. I mean, look at you. <laughs> so, you're OK with me being gay? Well, yes. <clears throat> but, son, I reckon if you're going to be gay, you could do it so much better. How about... Hang on. Why didn't you say anything when I pretended to have a girlfriend? Franny's a... girl? All right, then. We've got the tape. Uh... What are you going to do now? I wouldn't mind borrowing it. What? To show it the next VIP and dip night at S&M Club. Oh. They love it. I could even put it on my website. I thought you looked familiar. Let's get on with the inspection. All right. It probably looks like real grime and real filth, but I've got an innovative decorator. It looks perfect to me. What? There's your bill of health. I won't be seeing you for another five years. Unless, of course, you want to come to one of our parties. Sheep are half price. No, no, no. That'll be fine. <laughs> G'day, Grizz. Hope you got all this on video. This took me half the night. You did this? My greatest challenge. Some of the stains had stains. Let me adjust your bill. Clean rooms are ten bucks more. I suppose we should get you to the airport. We've got time for one celebratory drink. Well, what is it that you're celebrating? Honesty. Give us three beers. Uh, actually make that two beers and a fluffy duck. <laughs> You and your son have just worked things out. Why are you leaving? Uh, it's one thing accepting your son's lifestyle. It doesn't mean you want to have your face rubbed in it every day. We've all made our choices, haven't we, love? Yes. It's a hard thing for a father to say, but Spalding's done me proud. I've realised he doesn't need me to tell him what to do anymore. Oh, Dad. Left? You took a left! Whoa!